detecting mouse events in Phaser. You can access your mouse using this .input.on, passing in an event, callback, and optional contacts. There are many events and we'll review the basics. To detect your mouse anywhere on the canvas, use the pointer move event. The pointer move callback gives you access to the pointer, its properties and methods, as well as the interactive game elements the pointer is currently over. To make game objects interactive, use the set interactive method. To detect when the pointer is over a game object, you can go ahead and change this .input to the specific game object reference and the event to pointer over. To check when a game object is clicked on, use the pointer down event. To drag game objects and set interactive, pass that object with a property draggable set to true, and for fun, we'll set cursor as pointer. Note, you can change the cursor to be a custom image, and there'll be a tutorial for that link below. You can say this.input.on, drag event with a callback that has access to the pointer, game object, drag x, drag y, and we want to set our game object position to be the drag x, drag y coordinate. To check if a mouse button is clicked on the screen, you can code this.input.on, passing in the pointer down event. To check if the pointer is currently being pressed down, you can access the is down property. We'll set up the code so that we can add an image anywhere the pointer is pressed. We'll also scale the image. To check if the right, middle, or left button is pressed, call the left button down, middle button down, right button down method. There's so much you can do with inputs in Phaser. To learn about keyboard inputs or to follow a game tutorial, check out the videos on the screen.